Oh, principal. Here it is. You know, if I want to convince my principal to start a bass fishing club, I thought I'd talk to Harmon's principal first to get some advice. You know, I really want to get a bass fishing club started, but I don't know how I'm going to pitch it to my principal. Well, you want to talk to your principal about students getting involved in the outdoors and, and conserving the resources that we have. Anytime students are involved in activities, principals tend to like that. What kind of work is involved with setting it up? The first thing you want to do is find an advisor, somebody that is either a part of the school or maybe a parent. And then you want to approach the principal and eventually the school board with the idea of how this is going to be organized. How am I going to convince my principal that this is a worthy club and not just all of us going fishing? Well, you're going to want to come to your principal with a group of students, both boys and girls, that want to go fishing. And I think there's always power in numbers. So when you let your principal know that it's something that you have a wide range and, and some numbers behind you, I think they'll be more open to the idea. How do I also pitch them that this is a good thing for academics and GPA? Well, because it's a club, your school board and your high school will probably cover it under their academic code. So the students that are going to be on the fishing team are going to have to keep a certain GPA in order to be able to do that. Man, this is great advice. Is there anything else I should know? Well, the more you get into it, year after year, you're going to want to get some sponsors that are going to help to cover some costs. Most local companies will be all on board for that because they're going to see the interest and the excitement that the students have. Any final advice I can tell my principal to get them to sign on? I think just go to your principal with some excitement. Well, I got a lot of that. Thanks so much for all this advice. I can't wait to pitch it to my principal. You're welcome. Good luck. Thank you. Bottom line is, is your administrator needs to be assured that the program is all about promoting education through fishing. You'll learn all kinds of pitch points at highschoolfishing.org. They'll even give you quizzes and do online testing. That way, you get affiliated with one of the national organizations. With an easy step-by-step -step plan, forming a bass fishing club is going to be so simple. I'm going to catch so many bass. Uh, not so fast, Bass Boy. I think fishing tournaments come with a lot of challenges. Right, Harmon? Yes, there is a lot to tournament bass fishing. Like what? Well, before you go to a tournament, you normally want to do research so you know what you're going to do when you get there, or pre-fish, one of the two. But also, you have to find a way to catch the five biggest fish you can, because you can only weigh in five fish. That's your limit. And then, of course, you just need to be ready. Have your life jackets, fishing licenses, all that stuff. Oh, so you can just put them in the live well and replace smaller ones with bigger ones? Yes, it depends from state to state and even lake to lake. So you always want to check before you go. But in most places, you are allowed to call, which means that you take a smaller fish out of the live well, let it go, and put in a bigger fish that you just caught. Aw, I bet it makes that little guy feel better. So I suppose when I win my first tournament, I could get maybe one of these boats or a bunch of cash. Well, not all the time. In most high school tournaments when you win, they give you physical prizes like rods or baits. But then if you win a, a state tournament or an open tournament, then you qualify for nationals. And everyone can fish the world finals. And at those two tournaments, they give away millions of dollars in scholarships and the companies give out tons and tons of product. Money and scholarships, sign me up. Um, I think you first have to catch a fish, Haley. What's the weirdest fish you've ever caught in a tournament? The weirdest fish I've ever caught was probably a dogfish. What in the world is a dogfish? A dogfish is like a mixture of a bullhead a muskie, and hmm, maybe a bass. They fight really good. They go crazy and always jump out of the water, even more than a bass does. OK, but really, how can a bass fishing club make you better academically? Well, because a bass fishing club's a school sport, you have to meet certain GPA standards, and your grade point average has to be good every couple weeks. And if it's not good enough, then you can't fish in the next tournament. So what you're saying is that I gotta pay attention in math class? That's oh right. God. 
you have to do good in math in order to fish. So what's so special about this spot, Harmon? Well, this whole bank, as far as you can see in both directions, is exactly the same. And then right here is there's a little underwater point that comes out and a weed bed on top. And it's just an ambush point for fish like largemouth and other game fish to eat prey, like minnows. But you wouldn't know that just looking at the surface. I can use my electronics to see what's underneath the water, what I can't visually see with my eyes. I have down imaging, which shows me what's right beneath the trolling motor, and then side imaging, which shows me what's 100 feet to the right and 100 feet to the left. I can see rocks, weeds, and even fish. Now this is a bass, so see, even you can become part of your high school fishing team without even breaking a sweat while having a blast in the great outdoors. We've shown you how, now it's up to you and your buddies. For support on making your own bass fishing team, visit these websites. And who knows, maybe one day we'll even be on the same college team together. We cast our way into the outdoors. Let's say we uh, let this guy go, huh? Good idea. 